so good morning everyone so today we are seeing carries activity test so carries activity test is nothing but uh, measuring the active lesions over a stated period of time in a person it is the speed of progression of caries lesion how fast a person will develop caries that is what caries activity test is all about so we have seen the caries risk assessment that is assessing the risk of a person <laughs> and this caries activity it is assessing the speed of progression both are different or oh, one or the same it is uh, indicating the same thing that is risk and the caries uh, development and the other one is caries progression speed okay both are indicating the formation of caries but in a two different aspect so we don't go much uh, into the details we just have to see the ideal requisites of any caries active test so as we all know it should give a good correlation between predicted and actual caries and there should be reliability validity and it should be simple and it should be rapidly giving the results and it should also be very inexpensive non-invasive procedure and easy to evaluate so these all are the ideal requisites of caries activity test so we have n number of caries activity test but uh, we will be studying only the colorimetric uh, colorimetric Snyder test so we have many tests uh, you can just remember the names like uh, saliva flow test lactobacillus test swab albans uh, salivary reductive test or a test um, and phosphatic calcium dissolution test so we'll be seeing the colorimetric uh, Snyder test so flow test and this buffering test it's all checking the flow rate and buffering capacity so the basic procedure is same for everything and lactobacillus colony test is also checking the count of lactobacillus bacteria so the basic procedure is like this we take saliva we incubate it we check for bacteria or we check for any change in the saliva so in Snyder test as its name suggests it is a colorimetric test so something is there linked with color so what we are checking here and Snyder test is the change in color okay the change in color will indicate something okay that we will learn it is given by Snyder in 1951 so there is a principle behind this test that is formation of organic acids by acidogenic and aciduric microorganisms in a carbohydrate medium so as we all know dental caries is formed by the presence of streptococcus bacteria acting upon the carbohydrate resulting in lactic acid so the formation of lactic acid ultimately causes demineralization and leads to cavity formation so this is what the principle of Snyder test so what we are doing in Snyder test is we are collecting amount of saliva and we are adding with the substrate that is glucose agar medium and we are incubating it okay at 37 degrees celsius incubation means uh, multiplication of bacteria in order to uh, have a better uh, amount to get it checked okay so if we have very low amount of uh, bacteria we will not be uh, get the clear picture of uh, saliva details so we usually in uh, microbiological specimens we will incubate it so we do incubation always at body temperature that is 37 degrees celsius so we incubate it maximum of 72 hours and we will check for the color change in saliva so how to the change in color occurs at saliva so what happens is we are adding glucose material so there will be bacteria in the saliva so that is what we are checking the amount of bacteria in saliva more amount of bacteria means the patient has more carry susceptibility less amount means 
less susceptibility so more uh, bacteria means it produces more amount of acid so more amount of acid means the saliva will go to less pH that is more acidic if there is less amount of bacteria less amount of acid the pH will not change much so the basic pH is what we are taking is 5.4 the normal pH is around 6 so how do we get the idea the pH change so there the comes the bromocosol green dye which is an indicator dye which helps us to identify the change in color according to the pH it gives green color at 5.4 pH and it gives yellow color at 3.8 pH so yellow means more acidic green means least acidic so that is why we are adding this particular dye into this material otherwise we won't be knowing the pH change how the pH is changing we will be seeing just saliva we will not get an idea of pH and which gives very clear indication visible indication that pH has gone to a lower level by adding this particular dye so don't forget the name bromo cresol green which is an indicator dye which changes the color of saliva based on the pH so what happens is when it is 24 hours we check the bottles so if it has become yellow that means if it is pH is 3.8 we can say that the particular person has very marked susceptibility of caries if still it is green we continue to incubate and observe at 48 hours and if it is becoming yellow at 48 hours we can say that there is definite caries susceptibility marked means very high definite means it becomes in between but if it is still green we are incubating at 72 hours so it is becoming yellow at 72 hours we can say that there is a limited caries susceptibility caries susceptibility is very less because the organisms could produce uh, the yellow color that is ph change has happened over a period of three days so the amount of bacteria will be less so there will be less caries susceptibility if still it has become green and there is no color change we can say that that person has no caries susceptibility or no caries activity so that is the basic principle we will incubate up to 72 hours after 72 hours there is no point of testing because the bacteria won't survive beyond 72 hours so after that uh, we will get an idea the patient's caries susceptibility okay. So this is what it, uh, the color change will look like. The question number one is uh, green and the five is yellow. So this is 3.8, sorry this is 5.4 pH and this is 3.4, 3.8, sorry, yeah 3.8. So there is many advantages and disadvantages we don't need to uh, use multiple uh, serial dilutions we can use only one tube uh, and it is very simple to uh, carry out disadvantages are just time consuming and the color changes are not very precise <coughs> and there are two modifications of Snyder test one is Albans test and one is Swap test in Albans test we use a less agar in the medium because uh, usually when we apply agar it needs to be melted so if we use less agar uh, there is no need of melting and in swab test we are using buckle surface swabs using a cotton applicator okay so these two are the modification of Snyder test so we have many other uh, examples of caries activity that is 4st calcium dissolution test checking the streptococcus by using uh, toothpick tongue blade and dip slide method and reductase test and aura test which is a new invention the recent one so that's all about um, caries activity test we uh, need to study only Snyder test which has been commonly asked for our exam 
ओके थैंक यू